Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and we have the chat is running in case you do not know. But please focus with us. Today our topic is about this uh, person who he think he is smart and he can make Islam look better. Uh, Sabil Ahmad is a person we got him busted many times before and he made a drama when I said he called me because we thought someone he have his voice and he cried but he refuses still to debate me. And today I saw a video sent by one of you to me. And this video is called Shouting Pastor, Calm Discussion, Turn Into Heated Debate. You know, I did not watch the whole thing. I don't really, I mean, this guy is so silly. But just to show you how Muslims, they help us. I actually, I can play less than five seconds of this video and Islam is busted. Five seconds, not five minutes, not five hours. Five second. Uh, just to give him a credit, because those cowards, they always go flag my videos for copyright. So we are giving him a credit. This is a channel, and the and the and the video link is in the uh, in the info of the video. So we give him a credit, and we will use a very very short. Uh, I want to make actually maybe we should make a, a couple of videos about this guy so we can laugh. But look what he said. He asked this Christian person in front of him, "What is the language of Jesus?" Shall we listen? What is the language of Jesus? Right? In the language of Jesus, do you guys know what was his language? Jesus, peace be upon him. What was his language? Aramaic. Aramaic. Okay. All right. All right. All right. He just get Muhammad busted. And thank you for the huge nail you just gave to the coffin of your prophet. Less than two seconds, he destroyed Islam. The language of Jesus is Aramaic. Muslim, did you hear it? Muhammadan, did you hear it? The language of Jesus is Aramaic. Let us go to the Quran and you will see how he destroyed Islam in two seconds. This is the stupid Quran, the yellow page of Muhammad, chapter 14, verse number 4. It says, We send not a messenger except with the language of his people except with the language of his people, in order that he might make a message clear for them. Jesus, according to the Quran and according to the Muslims, he was sent only to the Jews. And what is the language of the Jews? Hebrew. What was the language Allah he sent to Moses according to the Muslims? to use for the scriptures, Hebrew. So as long as Jesus is just another prophet, he came after Moses according to the Muhammadan, then Jesus should be delivered a book which is Hebrew. But if we go in the Quran, just to make it more funny, another coffin. This person in his video, he says that Allah, he sent the Injil to Jesus. So Allah, Jesus, he speak Aramaic, and his book, his name is Injil, which is a Greek. Look how many times the word Injil appear in the Quran, all those verses. You can take notes. All those verses use the word Injil. So Jesus speak Aramaic, his people speak Hebrew, and the name of his book is a Greek. And now the Quran says that if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. And as long as Allah, he confirm that he never sent the message and the messenger, except in the tongue of his people, is the tongue of the Jews is Aramaic. I can stop here, we are done. But the drama continue. This guy did not stop here. It's more funny and more stupid. As an example, this man, he said, I, I just watched uh, five or uh, five minutes, just five minutes of his, uh, yeah. He said that Abraham is not a person who worshiped the Trinity. Abraham, 
is not a person who believe in the Trinity. But all of us, we knew that, and he said, nowhere Abraham, he did that. But all of us, we knew, and he said, even in the Bible, nowhere it says that. If you go to the, uh, to the uh, uh, you know, I was scrolling through the, the, the video, because the first part of the video, he's just talking. There's no, you know, he, the guy he is coming to visit him, they want to record it. You know, they want to make a propaganda. And I advise Christians, don't go to Muslims the same as record, you record them. But with, because what they will do, anything will say you will say to them is an embarrassment. They will cut it off. So don't go there without your a camera person or recording whatever you, they say. The same they are recording, you record it. And you post it in your channel. And if somebody knew this gentleman, please let him watch my video so we can laugh at Muhammad. So he said that Abraham, he is not a person who believes in the Trinity. In fact, he said something more funny, but all of us we knew if we go to Genesis, Genesis 18, is speak about three men, they came to Abraham and the Lord, and he said to him, my Lord, My Lord, three men, they came to Abraham. One of them is called my Lord, my God. And this liar, he says, nowhere he can find it. And the Lord, he told Sarah and he told Abraham that he will have a children, he will have a son. And Sarah could not believe it. She was like, huh? How? So when a person like this, he says such a statement, we go right away and we get them busted from the Bible. However, in the video, he said something even more funny. He said that Abraham was not a Jew. neither a Christian and that in the moment 647 in the video I will not play the video so they don't have an excuse to you know to take it down all right so we will move to the moment six I just took a screenshot of the video uh, to make a note Abraham was a Muslim. Allah said that even for Jesus, that he was a Muslim. Jesus was a Muslim. And he wanted to ask the Muslims, if Jesus was a Muslim, how come he did not teach us to have to be child molester like Muhammad having sex with the children? How come he did not tell us you can wish a woman, you go to her house and you flirt with her? How come Jesus says if you wish a woman, she is not yours, it's better for you to take your eye off away. But you're Allah and Muhammad, he says, Allah, he forced zina on people. And this is a portion which is a destiny. How come Jesus did not teach us that we can lie to our wife and the wife, she can lie to her husband, but Jesus says all the lies belong to one father, which is the devil. How come Jesus is a Muslim, but yet he did not order us to hate people as the Quran says, chapter 5, verse 14, or chapter 5, verse 40, 51, or many other verses, take not Christians and Jews as a friends, and Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. How come Jesus is a Muslim, but he did not teach us that you can steal and you can lie and you can cheat? How come Jesus is a Muslim, but he forbid us even from taking an oath when the Quran says you can take even a false oath because Allah will take you accountable only for what you meant. So you can lie, take a false oath, but in your heart, I don't mean it. Isn't it what all the liars they do? They take an oath, they don't mean it. So if Jesus was a Muslim, then he should have promised us virgins. He should have promised us a person. Everyone will have an endless private part. Jesus, when they asked him about heaven, he said he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. If Jesus was a Muslim, my friend, he will promise us gold and silver and little boys in heaven who will go around us to serve us a slavery in heaven. While Jesus, he said, the one who heard those little ones is better for him to beat a milestone in his head in his neck and throw himself in the deep ocean if Jesus was a Muslim then why he forgive sin and Muhammad his God he said may Allah forgive your sin the one who forgives sin is God 
And when the Muslim they say, nowhere Jesus says I am God, worship me, that is a big fat lie. All the Bible saying, and Jesus saying, I am God, worship me. When Jesus asked the Jews, what say you of Abraham, sorry, of, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of David, uh, you know, uh, you know, sorry, what, what, what say you of, uh, 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 of Abraham? What, what do you see? What do you think about Abraham? We say we are the followers of Abraham. And he said to them, if you are the followers of Abraham, then you do what your father do. And then we need to ask you the same question. If you are a follower of Abraham, since when Abraham kissed black stones and believe it forgives sin, since when Abraham, he have to go around the stones. Since when Abraham, he went to the Kaaba. In fact, the stupid Quran says the following. And focus with me if you are a Muhammadan, because Muhammadan, they have a low ability of focusing. This is the Quran, not my book, your book. All of you, you claim that Abraham is the one who built the house or he rebuilt the house because you have tons of stories about who built the house. Each one of them contradict the other one. Someone is asking me why you are afraid of Muslims in Islam. My friend, it's you who's afraid of us. This is why you, you arrest the Christians if they speak their Bible in Saudi Arabia. You are terrified if somebody have a Bible with him. Here you can go and you can talk, you can open your mosque. Who is the one is terrified? You are doing poop on your pant when you see the word or you hear the word Christians. And this is why you Muslim, you have a phobia from the cross. You have a phobia from the Bible. You have a phobia from the name Jesus. You have a phobia from a Christian prince because you are terrified. And even your God, I mean, he is have a phobia from a lizard. So if a lizard is installing fear in your heart, have you ever heard of a God? He waged jihad against a lizard. I mean, you have a phobia from everything. You have a phobia from the pork. You have a phobia from wine. You have a phobia from food. But you drink camel urine and you allow people to have sex with animals. And not only that, if a man, he have sex with his mother and he married her, there is no penalty and there is no punishment in Islam. And, and you are talking about phobia. Please don't go there. Otherwise, I will smash you. Make shish kebab. Look at this. Chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. It says that Abraham is the one who built the house. Which one? The Kaaba. And his son, Ishmael. Who? Abraham and Ishmael. We go to different verse in the Quran. We will find that Abraham and Ishmael never been there. Never. Read and love. <laughs> chapter 34 verse number 44 Allah speaking to Muhammad he said to him and we had not given them scriptures where they could study nor send them before you O Muhammad any messenger do you see it so how Abraham, he is the one who built the Kaaba and Ishmael was there. And the Muslim, they claim that Muhammad is descendant from Ishmael, which is very funny. The Bible is so clear in the Old Testament say clearly that Ishmael, he, his mother, she took him and married him from an Egyptian woman. So imagine the father is half Egyptian, half Aramaic. The wife, she is an Egyptian. The son is an Arab. That is a, that is a comedy, you know. That is the biggest comedy. But look what happened here. You got busted by yourself. And remember the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So we never send the scriptures to those people before you. Never. Ever. And we never send a messenger, a warner, even a warner. Never was Abraham a warner. Don't you Muslim believe that Ishmael was a prophet? So how Ishmael and Abraham, they are the one who built the Kaaba. And how Ishmael, according to you, he live in Mecca, which is very funny. There's no book of history support that. But who need, a, who need a book of history? Muslim, they have their own books. They write their history. They knew about Jesus. Even they never met Jesus. They never spoke the language of Jesus. And Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus. And by the way, even he got his name wrong. He called him Isa. So all the book in the front of us says it clearly that Muhammad is a fraud. But as long as this guy, he agreed that Jesus, his language is Aramaic.
What was the language of Abraham? Aramaic. But let us go back a little bit. Allah, he never sent a messenger. Listen carefully. <laughs> Allah, he never sent a messenger except in the tongue of his people. So if Abraham is an Aramaic and his language is Aramaic, what the language of his people? Aramaic. So how Allah, he sent Abraham to Mecca and how come their language is not Aramaic? Are you following with me? So the we just quoted the guy saying five seconds, not two seconds in the video. I did not even continue. And look how many nails we have in the coffin of Muhammad. So it turned to be that Abraham, he never been in Mecca. And Muhammad is a fraud. And he's a liar. Because he is the first one to be sent to the people of Mecca and the verse in the front of you. And you know, the Muslim, they say that the Quran is a very clear book. So if you say to me, let us go to the interpretation, that even way more nails in the coffin of Allah. Aka Muhammad. Because you are saying to me, you cannot depend in what is written in the front of you. Yet the Quran say that we never send a messenger except in the tongue of his people so they might understand. So did Allah make you understand speaking in your tongue? Same time here, Sabil Ahmad, Arabic is not his language. The guy don't even speak one Arabic word. And the funny, this guy in the video, he says that 15 million Muslims, they memorize the Quran, but nobody memorized the Bible. You stupid idiot. The index of our book is bigger, three, four, five times bigger than your Quran. The index alone. Do you know how many books the Bible? <laughs> Same time, you memorize it, but you cannot understand it. You memorize it, but you don't even speak Arabic because the Quran is made like a rap. So what is the point? And not only that, you beat your kids once after once after once until they memorize it. This is why you will see, you will never see a Muslim who became a Muslim after he became little old, he can memorize the Quran. You force children when they are so young, a child, you force him, a child, I can memorize for you right now, commercial I used to hear when I was six years old. Ice cream commercial on TV, candy commercial on TV, cartoon commercial on TV. I can memorize them since I was a kid. So don't claim a miracle. The fact is your prophet himself, he could not memorize the Quran. If we go in the Hadith, we will find the following. <laughs> This is your prophet, not me. Messenger of Allah recited, uh, 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 he, he said, like you hear from etc. he said, he said something in Al-Miswar, he said, I prayed along with the messenger of Allah and he, I witnessed that he recited the Quran during the prayer and omitted something, i.e. some verses. He what? He omitted some verses, which he did not recite. A man said to him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, you omitted such and such verses. The Messenger of Allah, he said, Why? Why you did not remind me of it? <laughs> and guess what? This is a contradiction for the Quran because the Quran says that we will make you recite and you will not forget. Shall we go there? Here we go. <laughs> ha 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 
how Allah he promised Muhammad that he will never forget the Quran in chapter 87 verse number 6 and then Muhammad he forgot the Quran we shall make you recite between two brackets the Quran O you Muhammad and you shall not forget it are you with me Abdul Somebody saying how someone, uh, how Jesus, this is a smart person, you know, like it, his name is Tom and the Blondie. Well, what do you expect? Tom and Blondie said the following How come Jesus recommended suicide for the one who abuses children? My friend, my Lord, he is telling you. This is how bad what you are doing. But because you are a smart donkey, you think he is asking you to do suicide. You did suicide already when you harmed the children because you are going to go to hellfire, Blondie and Tom. So the guy, he did not see what the point of Jesus saying, it's better for you to put, uh, to put a milestone in your neck and throw yourself in the deep ocean. He thinks this is a suicide. He must be a Democrat from the party of Joe Biden, you know the thing. So he heard the word throw himself, he got the answer, you know the thing. Genius, what you expect from genius? He's a genie, and yes. So here you see, you shall make, we shall make you recite the Quran. And you, Muhammad, you shall not forget it. Let us go back on time for two minutes. He forgot the Quran. He skipped the Quran. And he asked a Muslim, why you did not remind me? In different hadith, he said, he claimed that shaitan made him forget it. Is that the same shaitan he gave Muhammad satanic verses? I will leave the answer for you. You know, when I do my teaching, I witness a lot of stupidity in the internet. If you are stupid, it's okay. I mean, what you can do? You are. But don't get married. Because your wife, she is a blondie, or she is not a blondie, she will leave you. She will notice very soon how smart you are. She will send you to Walmart to buy zucchini, and you come back with the cucumber. Because all of them, they are green. Aren't they? Let us go green. So as you see, we played only a few seconds, not even three seconds of the video. And we destroyed the garbage of Muhammad. As always we say, garbage in, garbage out. So I'm going to stop here to just keep it short as much as I can. Maybe this will be the shortest. So you guys, you can download it, share it easy, and you can add subtitle to your language so we can laugh at Muhammad. And we will continue his video, by the way. I will make more videos because they are laughable, and each topic he mentioned is a priceless. So shall we meet again? Maybe in a few hours, maybe in two hours, maybe tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. I have to go to Walmart. My blonde wife, she's asking me to go buy a cucumber. I will come back with zucchini because I'm a genius like Muhammad, who he promised his followers that when you go to heaven, you will be wearing green forever. The first prophet will go green. I like him. And you will have women who they are see-through, through the bones. I like bones. Have you ever tried my recipe? Cooking bones and making soup in a snowy day? The prophet, he knew what we like. The prophet, he think that we are puppies, we like bones. So he promised us that you will see the bones. What a bony prophet. I remember there was a team, it's called Bony M. But they were not about bones. Muhammad, all of him is about bones. And by the way, Muhammad, he said when he died, he will preserved. And then when he died, the hadith says he stink. Which means his belly full of fart and he start farting. This is what happened when a dead man, he died. And then he, they keep him for, they keep him for three days without barrier. 
Why? Because they thought he is like Jesus. He told them, his body will not decay. They said to him, prophet, how our prayer will be submitted to you, the guy he think he is God. The prayer of the Muslim will be submitted to him. The Muslim translate falsely, it says a blessing. In Arabic, it says salat. He said, oh, don't worry. The body of the prophet will not decay. It's forbidden it. The earth from consuming it. So they didn't bury him for three days. And Muhammad, he stink, as Ibn Abbas said. Bury your friend. He stinks. He like all a human. They stink. And Sabil Ahmed, my friend, your stink is all over the place. And let us see how many of you Muslims will take my video to him and ask him, do you dare to accept me to call you? Don't come in my channel. I will call you. Do you dare to change your shape? from rectangle to a square, I will do it. I'm a Christian prince, and I approve this message, and Allah cannot stop me. He got busted, he's roasted, and the smell is all over. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. This is your brother, Christian prince, who is serving you humbly for today. And subscribe so you can be updated and you can join us as soon as we go live. Take care. God bless.